everyone, it's Chelsea and I am back with another video. I'm actually doing a reaction to the gameplay demo video that the official Gotham Knights channel or WB channel released um, a little bit earlier. It was a few hours ago, almost a day ago, um, because it has gameplay, but it also has a few little from what I've seen behind the scenes bits um, pretty early on the video, like 30 seconds in. So. I have the video up here for all of you, obviously, and I'm going to be pausing and putting my thoughts onto it um, as we go through. This is a 13-minute video, so I don't know how much I'm going to watch. I might do the whole thing, but we'll see. Anyway, let's hit play. Okay, so it's a Nightwing and Red Hood gameplay, which is pretty good. I think with this game, what it's going to do is that certain missions you have to do with each of the characters. I'm not keen on that. I would rather have it be like, you can play as this character for the whole of the game and you can do four different playthroughs with four different styles. I think that would be really fun. I don't think that's what we're getting. Um, but it will be very interesting to see, indeed, what we what we do get. I'm just going to move my keyboard over to here. Maybe that'll help. So... Hi, I'm Jeff Eleanor, Game Director at Warner Brothers Games Montreal. And today, I'm really excited to share with you gameplay footage featuring Nightwing and Red Hood from our upcoming game, Gotham Knights. So again, like I said, it's WB, which as we know, did the um, Arkham Origins game. This is apparently, for what I've heard, a separate, quote unquote, universe to what happened in Arkham Knight. Um, for, so spoilers, but if you want, you can go and check out my gameplay on my channel. I did the full um, 100, I think I did 120% in the series at the very least I did 100% so you get the true ending um Bruce gets exposed as Batman and then he does the Nightfall Protocol which involves him dying quote unquote um it's not sure it's sort of left up ambiguous in the in the 100% true ending so he might come back he might not we'll see I remember very early on with this game as well that it was Bruce on a monitor and I think they used the Bruce model from the Injustice games um, saying if you're seeing this then the worst has happened, that kind of thing. So I think it's that kind of, it's a side universe where maybe events played out slightly differently, I'm not sure, but we'll see. So far the character balls are looking a little bit meh. Um, I know they use just literally the Robin model from the Injustice games as well. So that's going to be very interesting to see what these models probably look like in the game. Okay, it's good. They've got the work in progress. Did they name a diner after Pamela Isley, who, as we know, died in Arkham Knight? She died saving the city. So maybe they... Or he did one for her? I don't know. This looks like a different Gotham though. Like that GCPD building looks different. The Wayne Tower, which we can see in the background there, looks kind of different. This looks sort of like the car space, uh, the car parking spot on um, Miyagani Island, which is very interesting. So I wonder if it's the same layout as Gotham, um, sorry, Arkham Knight, where we get to go through three different islands. I don't know. That'll be interesting. Let's see. Okay, there definitely wasn't a train station like on the ground pass like that. That's the church for Riddler. That was the church for Riddler, we remember that. We always remember that. Okay, this looks like it might be... Maybe these are thugs in the name of like Joker or something like that. Hurry it up, will ya? Harley, they're Harley's thugs. There we go. Okay, so Harley's out and about, but we probably won't see her in this game, I'd imagine, because Rocksteady are obviously doing the um, Suicide Squad game, so... Where it seems like those characters are controlled by Brainiac. I haven't actually watched the, um, oh, I think I've watched it once, the trailer for that, so let me know if you want me to do a reaction to that too. It's... 
it's looking a little bit empty right now. <laughs> I just want to say that. No, no offense. I know it obviously it says it's a work in progress. It looks a little bit empty. We're joining Nightwing, also known as Dick Grayson, midway through the game story as he patrols our city. They're doing midway through the game? No, why are they doing that? I, okay, this is one thing whenever game companies do this stuff, I don't like when they do missions that are midway through the game. I, I, I it's a thing with me, I don't like it. If you're going to show off missions from the game, do it that, if you have multiple characters you can play as, do it as like their first mission. Um, I don't believe in doing missions from my car by through. We get no context of what's happening and as well it can spoil some things too. So that's just my perspective, especially with like gameplay demos and all that. I'd, I'd rather they be from like the beginning of the game or very near the beginning of the game. Saying like it's midway through just gives me some kind of anxiety. Also, yes, I definitely think this pocket universe where like it's weirdly placed because it looks like the city has like totally rebuilt itself after Scarecrow. So maybe they just relocated Gotham City entirely and this place ended up shit too. I don't know. All of the knights can unlock heroic ways of getting around the city. For Nightwing, it's his glider, the Flying Trapeze. What? <laughs> what is this? Okay, that's just weird. <laughs> that's very weird. So I'm guessing Robin... Wait, if they each have their own... Because Robin and Batgirl both use the... The grappling hook. So what's theirs? <laughs> I don't know. Or maybe Robin uses the... Um, the Robin mobile. I don't know. The Regulators gang are stupid. engaged in a hacking crime, so it's time to bring some vigilante justice to the bad people. It looked a little bit janky, but I can forgive that. Also, this is a weird reticle on the screen. I hope it doesn't say that, or I hope you have an option to take it off. Each crime in Gotham Knights plays like a mini game mode, with rules and optional objectives. Nightwing's fighting style is acrobatic, he ping-pongs around the battlefield. Okay, so that's very similar to how he played in Arkham Knight. He was very fluid and would jump around a lot, which is really good. I wonder if it's going to have a similar kind of thing where you can pick up objects to manipulate in the environment. I don't like how he phrased that saying it's mini games. It's it's not a mini game. That's literally the core mechanic of what you're doing. It's it's not a mini game. You can just say there are Within the missions that you're doing, there are bonus objectives, but I don't like how he said with the encounters as bonus objectives. That doesn't feel right to what the gameplay should be. I don't know. Here's me talking about what the gameplay should be when I'm not a cape dev. <laughs> Sorry. While you can play the whole game solo, you can also protect Gotham and co-op with a friend. Here's Red Hood. Red Hood gained new abilities after being resurrected by an assassin cult. Here, he uses Mystical Leap to move across the rooftop, springboarded by his own soul energy. I hate that. <laughs> I don't... That is BS. I just think they should have used, for all of the traversal, just used grappling hooks. Keep it simple. So, it's, it's referenced there as well that he's been brought back by a cult, which we can only assume is the League of Assassins, or a branch of it. So, I don't know, maybe Talia branched out on her own, maybe her sister did. Um, I don't know, but that's interesting. I hate the mechanics for how he gets around. It should be a motorbike or something like that. Um, yeah, I really think they should have just either done separate vehicles or just done the the grappling hook i think they've overcomplicated that matter <laughs> also how he explained it using his soul energy oh my god that's so dumb successful attacks and dodges build up my momentum bar below and timing my strikes and combos correctly makes it build faster once the bar is full heroes can unleash powerful abilities 
Okay, so that's pretty standard for most games. It's it's not it's sort of the um the combo meter in the Arkham games, but it's 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 a more streamlined way of how most games do it. So that's that's okay. I mean, I don't mind that at all. I I think it's it's different enough to send out on its own. You know, I don't know what that 15% on the side is going on. All right. Red Hood's range attacks are a little louder. He fires non-lethal rounds that still do a lot of damage. Does, can he do melee damage though, or is he stuck doing long range attacks? That's what I'm interested in. Also, he, I didn't mention it, but he said you can play with a friend. But apparently, from what I've seen, the Steam page has actually been updated to say you can do co-op with like four people. <laughs> Which, in that case, you'd be playing with all of the knights, from what I understand. So that's going to be intriguing, I think. I don't know. I don't know. We'll, we'll, we'll see. We'll see. I'll I might cover that later. Here's Red Hood's barrage ability, which deals piercing damage to interrupt armored attacks. Okay. Okay, so that's good. That's that's a good way to show like, hey, this attack's effective against this. That's um really really smart. I wonder how someone like Nightwing would do that. So does he use his escrima sticks to get underneath the thug and sort of shock them? That's going to be interesting to see. The UI you're seeing can be customized to your preferences. What's on screen is what I like, but you can set it the way you like. Okay, I. they didn't need to say that. They, they really didn't because people are going to go around and play with the options, but the UI is going to be limited to what the system can do. There's, there's only going to be so much, like it might just be, you can put things up in this corner, or you can put them in this corner, or you can not have this and show this. Like, it's it's going to be that simple. They just really shouldn't have put that in. It just feels like they're padding out what to say for this video. But then again, that's just me. Casual Observer over here. Hello. Also, Lucy is chewing on my cords. Please let go. Oh, my spray bottle's over there. Oh, no. They did a cool um, double team move there, which is pretty sweet. I guess that 15% must have been how far they were into the hack. Um, it does feel a little bit slow and sluggish, but again, work in progress. They're probably going to um, get most of those bugs out with the um, with the launch. Again, Water Brothers, hey, if you want to give me a review copy, I've emailed. And, you know, I'll be fair though, so I will criticize. But, you know, review copy, please. Ah. Perfect attack, Nightwing! Oh, I didn't like that pose at the end. I felt kind of cheesy. <laughs> Alright, well... Uh, uh, that just looks dumb! That also looks dumb! It also seems like a really inconvenient way for Jason to travel. <laughs> I'm just gonna put that out there. It's a very... I've gotta put you down, Bobby. I'm sorry. It's a very inconvenient way, because just like... Why did he not just get the power of super speed? Or oh, not not super speed like the flash, but um like Damien got powers when he got resurrected in the comic, so have it be like maybe Jason just runs a little bit faster than what the average human can. That would have been fun, zipping through the streets of Gotham City. And it would have been different enough. So he has a bite! Now that prevented the regulators from stealing data, let's follow Red Hood for a bit. Why do we need a jumping ability? He has a bike. Just keep it at that. Just, I don't know what they're doing. They could have just had it be just grappling hooks for everyone. That would have been fine. And then like Nightwing gets a car. Red Hood gets his, um, his motorbike and maybe it has its own weapons on there. Robin maybe gets his own weapons on his own mode of transportation. Maybe Oracle gets a like something that flies. It feels like it's better for her to get something that flies. I feel like that's more in character with her, but I don't know. Anyway, let's see. The Bat Cycle is usable by all heroes in Gotham Knights. Let's watch. Okay. 
<laughs> they they don't have custom vehicles as far as I can see for each of the characters, which they should. <laughs> that's another issue I have. Okay, but that's just a personal issue. That's nothing to do with the game. That's just an issue I have personally. Red Hood chased down a smuggling van in Southside neighborhood. So this is like the Mia Garnet kind of area. You could just hit the brakes, but okay, that works too. <laughs> More shitheads to beat up. I like they've got swearing in this. <laughs> okay, it's obviously not Troy Baker as well. Um, they're not going to pay him the the so many bits of money to come back for a game that you know it's not going to be as acclaimed as Batman Arkham Knight. People are going to go for Suicide Squad because that's rock steady. I'm going to go with this because it's in the Arkham universe. But no, I appreciate the swearing in the game. I hope the voice actor for Jason does a good job. So I think it's the same voice actor for Nightwing. Um, I know it's definitely different for um, Batgirl. Ashley Green didn't return, but I don't know if the one for Tim is different either. I don't know. We'll see. I think the reason why this feels a bit sluggish and slow as well is just because of how the person is playing it. Um, I get really, really fast in my combos because I know how to time everything. I play Arkham Knight basically religiously. It's my favorite game of all time. So I think it comes down to as well what the developer's play style is too on these. So we have to keep that in mind too, why it might be a bit sluggish and slow is because of how they play it. So keep that in mind. It's it's a fair judgment thing, so. Red Hood can unlock the ability to attach a bomb to thrown opponents, so he can detonate it with a shot later. It's a pretty good time. All right, that's... I mean, that's kind of a cool attack, so I'm guessing that maybe we get like an, uh, like a skill tree kind of thing, which to an extent the Arkham games had that, especially um, Arkham Knight, it had that a bit more. Obviously, you can customize like the Batmobile, but I'd found with that game, and this was something I didn't really like about that game, I know, I'm saying something negative about my favorite game, is that it, if you did New Game Plus mode, you'd unlock everything pretty easily, so... Um, I hope there's a bit more variety and the points are a bit harder to get. I know some people are not going to like saying that, but um, I want them to be challenging because I want to feel like it's a challenging experience for me. I want I want to work for those points and have it be, oh, it gets progressively harder each time to get a point for this hero. So I need to work on my combos and my um, I need to adapt my gameplay as opposed to what it was in Ark of Night, which was pretty basic it just it didn't encourage a whole lot of um uh difference with how you played you could just do it with normal combos so with your free flow so i want it to be challenging in this game so i wonder what those um, little things that he picked up were, they were like magnifying glasses and you could see it was a, a thing down the bottom. So maybe that's, um, how you get skill points. You have to get a certain amount of them to be able to unlock certain skills. And there's a grappling hook. Why are we using the stupid, the stupid soul jump ability thing? Why? I'm not Now we're back it. at the Belfry, the hero's home base. This next sequence is from early in the game as we're just discovering the Court of Owls. Okay, so we are doing Court of Owls for this. I didn't, I didn't actually realize we were doing Court of Owls. Okay, I'm into that. I've wanted a storyline with the Court of Owls. Maybe this would be a good way to introduce Damien. Maybe he's doing something with the Court of Owls. I think that'd be a good way to get him into the series. Um, have him be a villain. I'd actually really like if they did that. Um, as well, maybe have it that the the League of Assassins comes back because Raish is obviously still alive. Um, even if you got rid of that Lazarus pit, his assassins probably found another one. <laughs> so, you know. 
Also, this is the clock tower. This looks to me based on the clock tower that was in Arkham Knight where Barbara lived and worked out of. So that's interesting. They've remodeled it nicely though, I have to the say. The back computer runs the map of the city and lets us pursue challenges and advance the story. Okay, so if we have a look at this, I know obviously, let's see if they zoom out actually. Okay, they're not going to. That's very interesting though. Okay, so they have slightly changed the map. It's sort of combining um, Arkham City and Arkham Knight from what I can see. But I want to see, are there other islands? Because there's a lot of bridges here. But it's sort of also one island, if that makes sense. So I'm wondering what's going to happen because... Yeah, it looks like there's more of a map. So, it's a big map, and there's a treasure chest that's um, there. So I'm wondering, maybe, maybe there's collectibles in the game. I don't know. Maybe they've gone that route. I, I, I'd have to think about if I'm okay with that. But I don't know enough about the game to make a judgment on that yet. So we'll see. Um, we'll see. Nightwing is tracking his next story mission, investigating the old Powers Club. I don't know why they've gone from, we're going to be midway through the story, and then it's just like, we're jumping back to slightly earlier in the story. Like, that doesn't make any sense to me. I don't know why they did it like that. Um, okay, so up here, I can actually see. So we have map, case files, challenges, gear, abilities, database, and email. So the map, self-explanatory. The case files, I'm guessing, is... Um, the the missions so far so what like the main missions are and then maybe like side missions and all that too the challenges are obviously um that might be very similar to what the riddler stuff is so in especially pulling from arkham city the whole um challenges section that was with batman and catwoman it might be pulling from that the gear obviously so we have different uh gear that we can equip so with different stats I mean, I'm not really keen on that. I, I don't, I don't know how I feel about that. Abilities, skill tree, so there we go, that answers that. Database, I guess, would just be a general thing to tell you about the characters. I don't know what the email bit would be, though. I guess maybe it's like, hey, you can do this for like a limited amount of time. Like you might get like 15 minutes to do a mission or something like that. Very, um... Not Ubisoft, what's the other company that does it? It's It seems like it's very Watch Dogs kind of thing, like real-time events in those kind of areas. Actually, no, Ubisoft did do that for a little bit, so. Is that Tim in the, in the thing there? The workbench is where we go to upgrade our equipment, making sure that we're ready for each new challenge through the game. Okay, so I'm, I was wrong. Okay, so it looks like we get just the same gear, but we can upgrade it. Okay, that's kind of cool. That's sort of, that's, that's neat. Okay, no, you can equip and de-equip things and you get mods and you can dismantle. Okay, then that's, I mean, that's okay. I can, I can see that and you can craft things and you got different styles. Okay, okay, I'm, I'm getting this together. Okay, that kind of makes sense. I'm, I'm not going to judge it too much because it's just the beginning of it. Players find blueprints and crafting materials by taking on missions and fighting crime. Each blueprint has different stats, giving the player a wide range of cool choices for their individual strategy and style. That's kind of cool. I, I don't mind that actually. It's, it's, that's, that's a neat thing. I wish that you, well, I hope, I shouldn't say I wish, I hope that you can just um, um, mix and match different pieces from different sets. That'd be really nice to fit your play style. Um, yeah, it's it's gonna be it's gonna be interesting. Also, conditional status. What does that mean? I wonder what that means. Um, also, look at that. You get different armor skills. You get different health upgrades. That's cool. I I really like that. That's nifty. So. Gear with mod slots is better because mod chips power up gameplay properties. I mean, that's pretty standard. That was pretty self-explanatory. They didn't really need to say anything. Also, that suit is ugly. Mm -hmm. 
also Dick was doing very similar in his idol to like a, a T pose animation. That was, I just, I found that kind of funny. At this point in the story, our characters are still processing the loss of Batman. Dick Grayson looks like he's kind of going through an emo mode. <laughs> I feel like just he's going through that stage. It's like in um, The Long Halloween, how Bruce had like the under eye stuff. It felt like he was going through his emo phase in his like 30s or 40s. <laughs> Dick's going through it in his like mid to late 20s. <laughs> You could visit him. I could what? He went to yours when... You could visit his grave. I hate the look of Jason. <laughs> his... Also, his build just doesn't fit what the character looks like in the suit. Like, how does that go to what... Similar to what Troy Baker's one did? I don't know how that happens. Also, I just... I just hate the look. I hate it. I, I don't like it. It's not a good design. He looks too beefy. He's, he's too much of a big boy. I do like they've got the grey stripe. In their you life. haven't. I'm not the one staring at that. You know. You did just stare at it! Oh. Sometimes you're an idiot, Grayson. I, okay, so that small amount with the voice actor. I think he did a pretty good job. I I don't mind that at all, actually. I can deal with the voice, actually. That's fine. Also, I love that um, Christopher Sean is back being Dick. It's awesome. Yay. Players can unlock fast travel to get around the city in a hurry with the fast bat. I hate that! <laughs> fast bat? I hate that! Oh my god, that's horrible. That's such an ugly design. It's a paraglider that's mechanized. Like, as if Dick didn't just, you know, have one. Um, I don't like that. I think they should have done the bat wing like they did in Arkham Origins. They already had the model. <laughs> Why did they just not reuse that asset? That would have been fine. I wouldn't have minded if they just ejected out of the plane every time. That would have been kind of fun. <laughs> have it be like a mini game. I don't know. You can think of something. Belfry, got anything court related? The Court of Owls. A secret society as old as Gotham itself. We're on the city behind closed doors. According to the old poem, anyway. Okay, but how does that line up with what Penguin said? If this all-powerful... Okay, Penguin's back. That's good to see. I wonder if Two-Face is going to be back. Oh, good. It even says, like, Red Hood on the on the side so you know who's talking. Okay. It's going to be interesting when we get the, um, the... Um, I'm guessing that we're going to get a Tim and Barbara demo later on. So it's going to be interesting. I wonder if in this universe they're married because that was what was the true ending was, was that it was Gordon on his way to the wedding and Tim Tech saying, don't forget the rings or something like that, or make sure you have the rings. Um, and then we get into a similar situation with Batman and his parents from way back when, and we see this ghastly, horrible creature. So I'm wondering if um, Babs and Tim are married in this or not. Court really is out there. They might be the ones getting all those creeps out of Blackgate. Which means they've been getting away with murder for centuries. Okay, so everybody was in Blackgate, which is weird. Why were they not in Arkham? <laughs> um, because Arkham still exists. Oh no, actually they don't. No, they don't use Arkham anymore. That was the whole point of Arkham City. Um, well they need to build another facility then. <laughs> I don't know. Put him on Strikers Island or something like that. That's far away. Let's just put him on Strikers. That works too. I hear you. Fingers crossed we'll learn more at the Powers Club. I wonder what the old powers are. That can't be another name for the Court of Owls, can it? I don't know. 
These do look very similar to assets that are from Arkham Knight, so I wonder if they asked Rocksteady, hey, can we have a look at your game and have a look at the assets and be, can we sort of pick and choose what we're going to take? Because it doesn't make sense for them to completely remodel everything where they, they can just ask Rocksteady, hey, are we able to um, have a look at the assets and see what we want to take out because we want to expand on the story that you guys created. So I wonder if they did that. That would be um, very interesting if they did. Um, I don't know if game developers can actually say anything because I know there's embargoes for like up to two years on game devs. So if you can't say anything, that's fine. But I'd, I'd like to know. So if there are any secrets, um, even if you just tell them just in private, um, that'd be cool to, to know, to eventually know. And those must be little grappling points that are there. It's time for Nightwing to sneak into court territory. That just answered my question. Okay, so the old powers is the, the Court of Owls. The loading screens! No! They can't have a smooth transition like what Batman Arkham Knight had. They have to go loading screens, really. Also, not digging Nightwing's look here. I gotta say, I... I'm not keen on, on the cowl and the suit. It just feels a bit off to me. But again, that's a personal preference for, for me. So we'll see. Oh, and I don't like the hair. Stealth is always an advantage. I'm in. Okay, that's Babs. Um, so it seems like most of them, if you can, there are certain missions that you want to go stealth and some maybe when you want to go loud. Um, maybe Nightwing and Robin will work on the stealth basis. And then, um, I'm thinking that maybe Batgirl will go and like manipulate objects in the, in the environment. I think that'd be really cool. So she can like hack things. Um, and then Jason would be like the, similar to the Harley Quinn situation in that DLC where she goes very loud. I think he'll go down a similar route with his cause he was, Actually, his, he had DLC too. Why am I forgetting that? Um, in his DLC, he was he still went kind of quiet occasionally, but he would go loud when he needed to. So I think that'd be a good way to go. Careful. Let us know if you find anything. They have a few guards. For long lunch too, huh? I'm not complaining. Nice to get a break once in a while. I like those male and female fogs. I really appreciate that. It's always nice to see some diversity in who I have to beat up in these games. So what do you think the poor bastard did? What poor bastard? <laughs> as far as I know, I just got a longer break. Poor bastard? I wonder what that means. <laughs> okay, so I wonder if there's going to be an ability, because this was something that I wasn't keen on with the Arkham series, is that the takedowns took so long to do. I wonder if there's going to be ability to speed them up. That that would be a really cool thing if there was an ability to speed them up. I would really, really like that. Um, so maybe it's like story related. They hit like key points to knock them out. Like they hit the pressure points. So I don't know. That'd be cool. Just just an idea. If they can still implement that, I think that'd be neat. Every hero has unique takedowns and finishing moves. Ambush strikes are faster than silent takedowns, but make All more right. noise. I can rummage in peace. Augmented reality vision helps the heroes solve puzzles and investigate mysteries. So, detective vision. It's it's detective mode. But just pulsating. Like, I know they can't say, we've used the detective mode from the Arkham series and put it into this game. I know they can't say that. But that's what it is. <laughs> AR shows a trail of blood. I wonder what else it can see. There's something under the floor. The hatch is connected to some kind of network. That's cool. There's got to be a way to open it. That's pretty cool, actually. I like that you can see the trail working up. Um, I would have liked if it was just like... If it didn't point out that, hey, there's something that's powering it and you have to go and find it yourself, I think that'd be really cool. Um, but there's only so much they can do with the puzzles, so I get that. I understand. Here we see Nightwing's elemental shockwave ability. It interrupts enemy armored attacks and deals elemental status effects. 
I mean, they didn't really need to do the status effects. I know why they've done it, but they don't need to. Um, I feel like that was something they just added for the sake of adding it. So for difference in the gameplay, but it's it's not really needed. So they could have skipped out on that. But it's good. I know how they do the um, the arm and stuff now. So that's good. It's a shockwave attack, which makes sense. I'm probably going to launch them into that book. Because I would have liked if it was um, destruction of the environment as well, which we probably won't get. But I would have liked if they had that attention detail too. That would have been really nice to see. Cryo status freezes an enemy, taking them out of the fight for a while. Very similar to the freeze grenades that were in Arkham Knight and the glue grenades that were in Arkham Origins, actually. So there we go. I have to say, I don't like that the AR... Um, stuff shows up constantly. I would have liked if it's very similar to detective mode, which I always have on where you can toggle it on and off. I would have liked that. Um, I know a lot of people are gonna get, or maybe it's just a UI thing, how they've got the UI set up, but as it stands, this is all we see. Um, if it is like this throughout the game and you can't turn it off, um, I would have liked if they had the option to be like, well, you can toggle the AR mode. So you need to, for those players who want to challenge, maybe they need to manually find where the button is, even though it's very obvious that a button would be under a head. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's the most supervillain obvious thing. And done. Secret passages, very cool. I, I dig it. It's very, very old school and also very fitting to the universe. So well done. Just a personal thing. A hidden staircase. That can't be good. It looks very cool. I love the lighting effects I've got going on here. So you can actually see the glow of the candles. It's obviously not perfect, but it looks pretty good for what they've got going on. Also, Lucy is playing with something. So if you hear banging in the background, that's what it is. I love that there's more swearing in the game. Um, that was something that um, it sort of lacks. So it's good that it's going for that kind of more mature audience. I really like that. The, like the masks look amazing. It's, I mean, it's very easy to get the Court of Owls mask right, but it's just, it's it's good to see they got it right. It's a nice, like shiny kind of texture. Symbolizes the modern times. Um, that was a very good, like eerie kind of opening to it as well. I very much enjoyed that, so. It's, it's, and I like that the environment is kind of like, oh, it's a bit darker. It's a bit more spooky kind of times. So far, this has been mostly Nightwing, though. <laughs> Can't help but notice. I was going to point out with that um, takedown they did of her, he didn't actually hit her. So that's something they've obviously got to sort out. So they, I mean, that seems like a pretty easy fix for game devs to do. So again, not actual going to be like full on gameplay. They're still a work in progress. So it's still on the whip. Um, this stuff can be sorted out. So don't judge it too harshly. There's obviously going to be stuff that's fixed in the background before release. So I always give the games a chance when we see stuff like this. Which I got like, something for you. This is a work in progress. I appreciate they said that. So that looked like it was like a poison kind of effect, which is interesting. Um, I also just... I, I don't like how this person is playing. I want to see as well if we have an ability um, similar to the... Um, like the, the quick actions. So like what we had in Batman Arkham Knight, you could do, um, 
I think it was left trigger and circle to pull enemies closer. On oh, no, it, left trigger and triangle to pull enemies closer to you, or it was right trigger. It was one of the triggers and triangle to pull them closer to you. Um, I don't actually know what the buttons are. My fingers just automatically do the combos. So that's how I play. I don't even know the buttons at this point. My brain just goes into that mode. Um, I want to see if there is that mode for all of these characters because that's how I usually play. I like to keep everybody as close as I can because I'm very much a close ranged fighter if it is in that space because this feels very much like the combos are going to go away very easily and it's not going to fill up that bottom meter as quick. So that's something that I would like to see if there are the, the shortcut buttons. That'd be great to um, maybe show off in the next game demo if they don't show it off in this one. Um, assuming they have that as a feature, but considering it's been in all the other games, I do think they should have it as a feature And if, in my um, personal opinion. And as somebody who's going to play the game as well, just to, I know I just, I'm pausing and pause. Um, it's, it's going to be easier for me as a player to use those quick buttons as opposed to having to do combos. I'm not playing Mortal Kombat. I'm playing an action combat game. So I want to have as much free flow and make it be as succinct without missing a beat as much. Um, that's going to make me feel more fulfilled as a player. So that's what I hope that they have. And if they don't, can you quickly implement it, please? That'd be great. Heads up! For anybody wondering how this fight looks with Red Hood, check this out. So, this is going to bring me into the question of, also, I'm loving that emblem, by the way, is, can we play the same missions as different characters? Can we play the entire game as just one character? That's going to be interesting. Or is it just certain characters can do certain missions? Because I want to know that. I want to play four playthroughs of this game with all the characters. I want to play four playthroughs of this game. That's going to give it that replay value. If I'm stuck doing certain missions to certain characters, I'm not going to feel like it's got that difference in the play style because I can't experiment with those different play styles in the same missions. I can't go loud and proud with Red Hood. I can't go... Um, like very free flow with Nightwing. I can't go, I'm assuming like focused with with Robin, so very um, succinct and maybe kind of the mix of, of um, long ranged and um, close combat if he still uses the staff. Um, and then obviously going into like stealth modes and like I said, if um, Batgirl does the whole um, manipulating environments, I think that would be a good way to do these missions as well. So I want to see if there's four different play styles for every single mission, if each character can do the whole game um, rather than I have to split it between two people per mission. Do you know what I mean? So if only Nightwing and Red Hood can do this one mission, um, that would not be my preferred play style. I prefer just to do one character each playthrough um, and that's how I would play it personally as as a gamer and that gives me that sense of I can go back and play the story with the other characters now I know the story and I can just get into how's the combat work um, doing all the side missions and getting the collectibles and all that that's what a game should be you should get that variety and that's where I feel with Arkham Knight it kind of it was a bit meh um, because you can only play as Batman and then you played as like Nightwing, Robin and Catwoman for those couple of sections. But it did give it enough variation. It was just like, oh, I can play as different characters for this. Cool. But I'd like if this was like, you could play as all four characters at any time. Or you can just main one through an entire playthrough. Intruders first. Then you can... I'm rambling a bit. I'm sorry. Think about the rewards. <laughs> 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 I just want to point out, they should not have been hit there. They should have seen that coming and dodged out of the way. But anyway, that's me backseat gaming. I shouldn't be doing that. (laughs) 
I want to ask as well, does this have a lock-on ability um, for, um, especially like Red Hood's attacks, when you look at them, does it have a lock-on ability so that way you can see where you're shooting? Um, I just prefer to have a lock-on ability with these games, or does the game sort of, as per Arkham Knight, sort of move towards the enemy? So it's not locking on, but it's sort of like moving your attention towards them. That's just something I'm interested in. Uh, just go back into that. How's about this? Red Hood takes on a Talon Gladiator here, one of the Court of Owls' engineered superhuman assassins. I appreciate they're going to like the comic book kind of references, and I like that they still call them Talons. I appreciate that. Um, the weapons look really cool on this Talon too. They've got a, a spiked um, a bludgeon kind of thing going on and a really nice looking shield. I like they've got the glowing eyes. They've very much gone comic book-esque with the outfit, which I really appreciate. It looks very, very cool. Um, it's simplified and yet very, very elegant. They also look very imposing. Let's just point that out right there. Also, I'm guessing that it's red because it's saying, like, these are attacks that you might not be able to block. They're ones that you may have to dodge, which I very much like. What was the game I played where it had... Um, well, actually, the Arkham series did something very similar. It would have blue... If you if you had the hat on, I don't always play with the hat on. Actually, I've been playing with it off recently. That it would have the blue for if you could um, counter them. And then it would have the red if you had to dodge. Um, Assassin's Creed, that's what it was. Um, where it has the yellow if you can, um, like, parry it. And then red if you can't. So it's cool they're doing that system. I like they're doing that system. So I wonder if they're going to point out what this ability is, um, because if not, there is absolutely no context in what just happened there. <laughs> but it looks like it's doing elemental damage, maybe fire elemental damage. So maybe each of them have like a elemental attack. I don't know. That'll be interesting. Yeah. Also, the side effects kind of don't work because you can't you don't have an enemy health bar which wouldn't make sense to have an enemy health bar right it's not that kind of game so you don't see how much damage it's taking off so the status effects kind of don't work um in this so unless they do like they go down and i'm gonna use elden ring i know it's like dark souls and all that but if they go down an elden ring where kind of thing where they actually have the health bar for the bosses. That'd be interesting, but um, yeah, the suspects don't really work on normal enemies because you can't see their health go down. There's no health bar, unless that's something you could change in the UI, but it doesn't make sense in this kind of game for them to have them. So the suspects are kind of like, well, they're there to look cool, but I don't know if they're doing more damage every time or not. <laughs> I appreciate the reference that the Talons don't stay down for long as well. They do regenerate their health. That's very cool. I'm I'm digging that. So we're going to have to probably do something special to get rid of this Talon here. This fight is not over. I love how YouTube didn't caption that right. <laughs> this fight isn't over. It's not open, YouTube. Jeez. I'm actually surprised that they didn't put, um, like when they were doing the gameplay, they didn't put subtitles, like their own subtitles in on the screen. They could have done that, um, which is especially good for those who are hard of hearing um, or are deaf and just want to enjoy what the gameplay looks like. So I'm very surprised they didn't do that, which is part of the reason why a lot of YouTubers, including myself, play with subtitles when we can, is to 
help you guys out who are hard of hearing or have accessibility issues. So surely that would have been something that's already been done. They just haven't turned it on. So if they do future ones like this, please remember to put the sub the closed captions on or the, the subtitles at the very least on when you actually do the gameplay part of the video. That would help a lot rather than people having to do the YouTube ones which aren't accurate. So... Okay, so again, it feels clunky, but I think that's purely how the play style of the person playing it is. I'm not going to say, oh, the gameplay is clunky because it's not made by Rocksteady. I'm not going to say that. That's not a judgment I can say until I personally play it and get a feel for the controls. I don't feel like it's my place to say it's clunky because this is not me playing it. I am not the one playing it. It is the um, one of the devs playing it. So... Again, different play style to what I would play, different play style to how you would play. It's it's going to be interesting to see how it actually feels once we have it in our hands. So again, not going to judge. It's only clunky because that's how the person is playing it. Wherever this belongs to must be in bad shape. Better hurry. I do want to say I'm very much liking, I just noticed it on Red Hood's suit, that the um, the weapons are actually illuminated. I actually really like that. It's it's a nice little touch, but it's it's um, it's a good thing for the player to see. Being like, oh, there was some thought put into these character models. They didn't just slap skins on there. So that's, that's really nice. I like that. That must be whoever they kidnapped. Kidnapped. I'm wondering if this is something you'd take onto the story. My guess is that we gotta save Red Hood from that. But, again, I really, also, October 25th, oh my gosh, that's just before my birthday, that's like two weeks before. Um, I really would like if um, it was, you could play all the missions as one character, and then you do another playthrough and you play through as a different character. Also, I want to talk about this screen right here. It has, that is available for... PS5, Xbox Series X and S, and Steam. I don't like, or an Epic, I don't like that they've taken this off of previous gens. I, I don't like that. I know that they, devs need to start focusing on the current gen, but I don't like that they're taking games away from the previous generation. There are so many people who can't get their hands on either the new Xbox or the PlayStation 5, it's not fair to them if they don't have a PC that can run this game properly that they just miss out. Gaming should be accessible to as many people as they can and I feel like they've made a really big mistake in pulling the um, game for those on the previous gen. There's, it's, it hasn't even been out for like two years yet. Well, I think we're just coming up to the two year mark now. So that's not fair, but those who still don't have access to those consoles or access to a computer that can run the game, because I'm assuming considering these are pretty good graphics, it might fry like older computers and all that. It's not fair that they miss out um, based off of what a developer has just done just in the moment. Um, I don't even think there was an official release saying that. I think it was just people saw this and they were just like, oh my god, it's not coming out on the previous Xbox or PlayStation 4. So, um, that's interesting. I'm looking forward to seeing where this goes. It's going to be 
Um, a little bit of a ride. Let's just go. I don't think there'll be anything at the end. Pre-order now and get the 233 custom Batcycle skin. That's kind of ugly. <laughs> um, hey, um, WB, do you want to send me over a review copy of the game? I'll, and I, I say that as kind of like half a joke. I have requested it, but I want to be fair when I do this review. So I am going to pick at, hey, this is what they did right. This is what they did wrong. No game's going to be perfect. Um, it hurts me to admit that, but no game's perfect. It, it happens. Um, but developers also can't be scared of when YouTubers get their games that they're going to kind of nitpick at them because we're the ones playing it. And not that I probably will, but um, YouTubers do influence when people buy games. I've bought games because of bigger YouTubers that have played them that I enjoy watching. That's just what happens. So, yeah, it'll... I'm, I'm looking forward to this. I'm, I'm still excited for the game. I think it's going to be good for what it is. Obviously, it's not made by Rocksteady, so the combat and all that's going to be a bit different. But again, this is sort of take it with a grain of salt and don't judge it too fast um, before... I'm, I'm a person who will pre-order games and then if I will regret the decision later if I should have pre-ordered or not. Um, yeah, it's, it's going to be fascinating to see how it plays. I really want them to do where you can play the story as one character the entire time and just main that character and then do another playthrough with a different character and just over and over. Also, I hate that the word custom is spelt with a K. I've just noticed it and it's cheesy as hell. I, I don't, that's, that's a personal thing. I don't like that though. I've just seen it. Anyway, um, if you guys are actually really looking forward to this, let me know. Hopefully I can get a review copy. There is a fly or something like that going around. Hopefully I can get a review copy, but if not, I'm going to be pre-ordering this. Um, and so please WB, can you do the pre-order, uh, the, the review copy for me pretty please? Thank you very much. Um, I'll be looking to play it on PS5 so you guys can see it on there. Obviously there'll be um, higher graphical resolutions for those who played on PC because they can max out the settings. But I still think, like, this game is still going to look good. Um, I'm hoping that it runs well. It's obviously, like, it's been... It would have been originally built for, like, the previous generation and then for some reason they've scrapped that. So I do wish they would reverse course on that and be like, well, we've made a mistake and we actually will release it for the previous gens. I don't think there's anything that's stopping them. It's purely just somebody's in marketing said hey, we're going to just market this to the current gens. I, I don't think they should have done that. I think that was a mistake, but that's my personal opinion. So, yeah. Anyway, if you guys are enjoying this, don't forget to leave a big like. Subscribe if you haven't already. Um, it's free. It takes two seconds, and you get a whole bunch of games, including past live streams I've done, past series I've done. You can go and check out my Batman Arkham series right down below. I think I just started doing the face cam thing in the last episode, which was the Batgirl um, DLC. So yeah, and I will keep you guys updated on any new videos that come out with this kind of stuff. Um, I'm also thinking about doing a new series, which is a little bit different. So keep an eye out for that. Um, and as well, let me know what you guys are looking forward to with this game, or are you going to pre-order this game? Are you sort of holding off until you get more info? Um, did you enjoy the Arkham series, or was it kind of hit and miss for you? Because I, I know that obviously, like, it's my favourite, but not everyone's going to like it. So, it's just, it's interesting to see. So, let me know. I want to know what you guys all think. But I will see you all in the next video. Bye, everyone.